November 6th at 7.45 p.m. We are playing Kara. Greetings everyone. My name is It Sticks Me. Welcome back to my channel. The playthrough of Detroit. Here, let's go. Let's go through there. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. Yeah, I, I am about to. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. Very kind, thank you very much. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... that's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Yeah. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No. She I don't know if we can trust that, but... Of course. Alright. I actually... Everything we need is in the basement. Kinda sad, and... Your... Blind eyes for me, but... I recognized now on my fourth playthrough that Slatkor has Alice, we have nowhere else to go. We have to blue go. hands from the blue blood. Please excuse the mess. I needed somewhere to scream for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. 
Hmm. So what was the right cable? I guess the... Hello or the Korean one. If you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. You will pay for that, Latko. Sure. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Carl, wake up, Carl! Meet me in the living room. All right, now it's time to find the perfect way out. Uh, we can actually do that. <clears throat> yes, yeah, yeah, Kara. And we got that for... I don't know, I just do that. And now it was the green cable, right? I'll run. Pull. Perfect. Remember guys, always the green cable. Green, good to go. Memory corruption repaired. Perfect. Find Alice. Help us. No. 
This can't be happening. Cruel. Very cruel. Creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. That's hard. That's really, really hard. Yes, so there's a magazine we can... We can reach here and... Yeah, I free the polar bear here as well. Don't be... Oh, please. Let's open the cage. No. He would know for what it's got. Where do I came from? Oh shit. There, there, there. We have no time. I hope we don't mess up with What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. Will you be quiet if I let go? Yes? Yes? I promise to be quiet. Don't turn me off. You yeah, shut down. I can't trust him. I really can't trust him. All right. Hopefully, Luther is sleeping. Yes, he is. Hello, hello, hello. I can go in here for the magazine. How much time we have left? 7.45. Alright, so let's keep fast in reading. Arctic tensions escalate. American ships fired on. A Russian aircraft carrier is reported to have fired an American patrol boat into Arctic with the US vessel returning fire. Neither ship was damaged. President Warren regularly called Russia's activity in the Arctic a crime against the international community, referring to their mining of available minerals and the retreating ice shelf. She also branded Russian President Artem Ivanov as a dangerous individual. Many international relations experts are saying an uh, armed conflict is inevitable. Alright, next one AX400 Getaway. Runaway android still at large. An android was pursued through a Detroit suburb today in sense reminiscent of human criminals attempting to elude police. Resources suggest the AX400 may in fact be the same android that was originally reported missing in the area, but the DPD declined to comment on this particular aspect of the case. Witness reports that the android was dressed like a human and had no LED, but sources inside the DPD confirmed that the presence of a certain Lieutenant Hank Anderson, who was frequently assigned to an android crime unit, suggests that the suspect was in fact a machine. The android remains at large and is believed to be highly dangerous. Witnesses are asked to report to the authorities with any information they may have on the incident. Alright, how much time do we have now? 
610. So the time counts when we read the book. That's heavy. Uh, corridor, corridor, corridor here. Perfect. And then we need here else. Oh dear. Luther, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Coming. All right. They're searching the house. We've got to get out before they find us. L1 Oh no, they're, they're not coming in And when they come we have to do a quick time event Oh no 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 L1 Great view but not Okay, so he don't scream here. We can't stop now. We just need to be brave, Alice. I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only wanna talk with you. I know I shouldn't have erased your memory, okay? I regret that now. Now 
Just uh oh. Come on out and everything will be all right. I'll help you. Think about that little girl. How 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 scared she must be. Just be reasonable. Come out and everything will be all right. Did you find them? No, it's not cool. I'm still looking. Well then, get moving, you big idiot! I want them back! Alright. Now it's time for quick time. I was there, but alright, I guess one is enough. I breast... I breasted... I, uh, for real? I, I breast those, I don't know what I have to do there. Or is it both? That could be possible. Uh, back door. Back door open? Yes, it is. Perfect. I don't know with those uh, Alice! big arrows. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! I warned you! Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me. Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master! Welcome, legend. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. I knew someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Oh, and he's free too. Perfect. Not in a good shape, but... Here is Katie Maynor. Perfect. Karen Ellis escapes Slutko's house. Lufa joins Karen Ellis. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, we had two more spots. Hmm. That's kinda... Here are two more spots and then we <laughs> would have gone out unseen, but perfect. Perfect, perfect. Search house for Alice. We did nothing. We escaped before being reset. Free monsters, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. So, let's Here. Let's continue. On November 6th. 
at 7.51 p.m. We have to find Mandor once more. Do we go to the magic stone? Of course we are. We are... Whoops. Where is she now? Do I see her? Not really. Oh, there she is. So we can go through here. Such a great garden. Imagine having this in real life, not with those futuristic bridges and stuff like that, but having such a garden with a small house, such a dream. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? Here. In the diary. I found its diary. But it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? I guess the lock one is when we Walls capture him. The apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with Lieutenant developing? Uh, so I saved him. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. All right. Step out. Hank is a friend, and we have to look for Lieutenant Anderson. All right. It would take a little shortcut here because I guess everybody knows what's happening here. I want to see the best fucking moment in this game. Tank is unconscious, not awake. And hello, Sumo. Yups. Easy, Sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See, I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Such a sweet dog. Check on Hank, for sure. Thank you, boy. Examine. Loho. Black lamb, scotch whiskey. 
Revolver.357 Magnum. Heart. No sign of trauma. And traces of alcohol scotch whiskey. Lieutenant. He's in coma. Bloops. Wake up, Lieutenant. And Oops. Hey, it's me, Connor. <laughs> uh. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Me alone, this may be you fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Attack! Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Uh oh, and now it's time to rumble. Ah! Ah, turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! 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 What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Uh, solution. You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Uh, leave. I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. I guess we have a tease. What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Yes, I'll go get them. I guess when we tease, it gets some points, but I'm not sure if positive or negative. We can't read now. Are you fucking serious? What do you want to wear? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get strippy. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> so now let's let's beat read the book. Uh, Oops, not by that. Screening for depression, a recent study led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of screens with the widespread antidepressant epidemic. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are surrounded by screen based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have other harmful consequences. These include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face to face interaction, driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. 
Gorogensky study found that 203 people take antidepressant on lack of social interaction in the leading cause. Meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than a personal and relationships are suffering for it. In response, CyberLife has introduced a home psychologist add-on for you Android in a bid to teach us how to communicate again. The upgrade costs $150 but can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities adapted for children and adults. But Gorogensky is skeptical. Our society is hooked on technology and don't think yet what technology is starting to just go outside and talk to someone. For sure, in tainted love. Uh, Android's capital of satisfying customer sexual and emotional needs have been a, a phenomenal success that CyberLife has been battling to keep stocks stocked. Through the ideas seemed far fetched initially, CyberLife's gamble has paid off. These Androids offer nothing less than a powerful partner experience for men or women. The advantages are many Androids take care of the house, to, uh, cook a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey, I have a headache. While CyberLife initially focused on urban singles, to buy its models this year record, the virus rates seem to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than with a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. Mm hmm. For sure. But there are that some people don't know how to talk outside is basically the same at yesterday at today. So they're taking today's problem and put them into the future. It's great. Anderson Cole. And he died. Hank lost his son. I just read it so fast because I want to get that picture. And the revolver there. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. All right. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I don't know, but here. Oh, he's such a sweet dog. All right, a Russian roulette is done. Left for Eden Club. So we read both, and we got the picture and the Russian roulette thing. That's great. So, but I end today's episode here, and we see us on the next episode. Until then, cheers.